This is a new HP MV Photo 7800 all-in-one printer. Today, we're going to do the unboxing of this new printer from HP. Let's set it down to the side. Use a cutter and cut along the tape at the edges. Open up the box. This is how the printer looks like in the box when it is opened. Let's take out its contents. This package contains the reference guide with some setup instructions, a sample pack of advanced photo paper, some HP ink cartridge information and instant ink information. This is the phone cable. And this is a power cord. Let's take out the foam from the side. And over here, we have the cartridges. Next, we will lift out the printer. Let's remove the box. Remove the shrimp wrap by making a cut near the ADF and peeling off the plastic. This is a setup card on the printer, so it's asking us to open the cover in step 1 and in step 2 to power the printer and in step 3 to download the HP Smart App from 123.hp.com So let's remove this and there is a latch or small handle at the side over here use this latch over here to open up the cover to assess the cartridges and you need to peel this off and remove the cardboard next can open up the input tray and remove the tape. After removing the tips from the input tray, let us put some paper into the input tray. Be sure to use the width adjuster to ensure that there will be no mistake. Do note that this printer also supports a dedicated photo tray with photo paper sizes of 4x5, 4x6 or even 5x7 photo paper. Take note that the output tray can be detached and it has got an automatic extender if you do not want the extender to extend out you can actually lock it over here currently it is unlocked and if you do not want the tray extender to extend out during printing 
you can slide the slider down to lock the tray extender. We will leave it at unlock. The tray extender has just extended. You need to manually push it back. Next, let us power up the printer. Plug the power cord into a wall socket and plug it into the back of the printer. Once the power cord is plugged into the printer, turn on the power at the wall socket. To power up the printer, press the power button on the printer. The printer is now powering up. This is what is shown on the control panel at the first power up. The wireless LED is blinking because it is not connected to any network. Let us select English and we will select the country to be USA. It is asking us to set up with the app at 123.hp.com. Let's take a look at the info. We'll select manual setup for now. We'll continue the setup. We need to insert the cartridges that came with the printer. We can actually tap on the display to show a video on how to insert cartridges. Let's stop the video. So let's remove the cartridges. There's a little tear instructions over here. That's a black. And that's the color. Again, we can tear over here. We need to lift up the cover. Peel the tape from the cartridge and insert the black cartridge on the right hand side. Put it in and stamp it in place. Likewise, do the same for the color cartridge. Put it down and slide it in. Once that is done, close the cover. After installing the cartridges, this is the message on the control panel. It is saying that it is instant ink ready. Let us touch OK to continue. So we have loaded the plain paper. Let us proceed. It is doing a calibration of the printer. Calibration is successful. We will now show you how to connect the HP NV Photo 7800 all-in-one printer to your home network.
This printer supports 5GHz as well as 2.4GHz network. Let us take a look at the front panel. So it is asking us to set up with the apps. Let's go to more info and go to advanced setup. Select wireless. So it has found our home network, which is the technology tips, which is the 2.4 gigahertz network, as well as technology tips, the 5 gigahertz as shown. Let us connect first to the technology tips 5 gigahertz network. We need to enter the password. Once the password is entered, you need to confirm. The connection is successful. And the IP address is shown as well. You can take note of this IP address for your software setup. Do note that the wireless LED is now solid and no longer blinking because it has connected to your TechTips 5 GHz network. It's asking us if we want to accept the web services setup. Let's select yes and yes. So it has just printed out the web services summary. Let us proceed. And continue. So this printer will be used in the home for personal use. So finally it's asking us to install the apps again. So this is how you unbox the printer, install cartridges and paper, connect to a wireless network, in this case a 5 GHz wireless network, and set up the web services. Do look out for our next video on how to download and install the software driver so that you can print and scan.